Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the Manfrotto Pixie Smart Mini Tripod. Jeez, I am thirsty. <laughs> Let's get into this. Alrighty, let's get into this. Let's see if I can open this packaging. Don't you just hate this type of packaging? You know, this kind of real sealed plastic and you don't know what tool to use to try and get it open. I've gone for the Stanley knife, of course, but um, yeah, and then when you do finally get it open, the leftover plastic sort of slices your finger clean off. So yeah, let's have a look. Okay, this is this is pretty embarrassing. So I've just noticed that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's some little. I don't know if you can see this, but there's some little like thumb tabs that you can just pull this plastic out away. Hey, that's what I like. Oh, you see, look at that. That could take someone's eye out. Okay. See, look at that. All right, what we got in here? So we have other great products from Manfrotto and a bit of bit of cardboard. All right, let's have a look at the tripod itself. Oh yeah, that is nice. That has got a nice smooth action on the um, on the legs. I like that. Did you hear that? Can you hear that? Nice. So this is obviously made of metal, I would imagine, by the sounds of that. Yeah. And the ball on the top. So you've obviously got your little... Although I can't get that undone. I'll figure that out in a minute. iPhone holder. iPhone smartphone holder. Whatever. I'm thinking about my iPhone. I'm using going to be using this for my iPhone 10. Due for an upgrade this year. Can't wait. When did the iPhone 10 come out? About 2017, I think. So yeah. Definitely due for an upgrade. Looking forward to what Apple bring out um, towards the end of the year in September, hopefully. It looks like we just have a spring-loaded mechanism. So I'll just hold your iPhone nice and tight. And then it's got your normal sort of uh, tripod screw. Can't remember what they call those now. On the back. And then you pop it on top. And then you just put it on top. Ta-da! All right. One stand, but that's a bit stupid because it obviously goes, that's the wrong way. I don't want my iPhone that way, do I? Ah, I see. So now I was trying to twist this. It's actually just a push button, push it in, and then you can move your phone to the desired position. It's pretty cool. So there we have it. That's not right, is it? it doesn't look right. If I have my phone in that way, as far as it goes. Where's those instructions gone? It says on here that your phone can go that way around. So what am I missing here? So put it on the right way around because that's really going to help you. So there we have it. One Manfrotto tripod. Um, looks all right actually. Feels pretty good. You can imagine that you can be vlogging with this if you needed to. Uh, good handle, keeps you steady, better than trying to hold the phone yourself. Uh, feels pretty light, but yet it feels sturdy. All right, let's go and take this thing for a spin.
suddenly changed my wardrobe halfway through the day. This is the second day of filming. Um, yeah, clouds have come over. Uh, we've had some really good weather over the last week, about 25, 26 degrees, totally blue sky. And today, yeah, the clouds come, it's raining a bit. So yeah, but you do what you gotta do. You get out there and you make these videos. So I just wanted to do this segment because I wanted to let you see what it was like by using the Manfrotto. Um, as a handheld device and you know vlogging with it and actually it's really good so at the moment I've got my phone uh, with a back facing camera there's no mic attached to me as you can probably tell so it's just the mic on the iPhone so it just gives you that little bit of extra distance which you wouldn't have if you were just trying to hold the phone so you know it's kind of a bonus unless of course you already have really really long arms like a daddy long legs I bet daddy long legs are really good at taking selfies if they could, but they can't. Back to the tripod. Oh. Seriously need to get myself a better mic. I really do. Maybe one of those boom mics or wireless microphones because this just isn't doing it for me. No, maybe that's going to be my next purchase. Anyway, so back to the Manfrotto. This is, I really like this little thing. I have to say I've been using it for about the last you know week and this you can just shove this in your bag it's small it's light but yet it's sturdy if you compare it to something like for example the gorilla pod um, you know it's considerably bigger it's lighter admittedly it doesn't have quite the same um, you know functionality as the gorilla pod but it, you know they're both different things but I do really like this I can see myself this is going to become part of my gear definitely and I think for anyone else even if you're not vlogging even if you're you know not doing YouTube videos I think just by having this with you if you're going on holiday or you're with your friends your, your husband your girlfriend your boyfriend whatever you can get some great selfies with this uh, you can get some great low-level shots um, and you can also get some stability, of course, because it's a tripod and a tripod. You're always going to get better photos with a tripod um, or video, pretty much, for that matter. It's one of the things I really like about it is this, this button here. Rather than having to untwist it and then do it up, which can get fiddly and it takes time, simply just holding it in and then just being able to move your phone to whatever position you want and then let go and it's held in place. And I can tell you now, when your phone goes in this thing, it ain't dropping out you know you're not gonna it's not gonna fall out the, the phone is really tight and there's like some little it's like little rubber on here so I don't think it'll damage your phone in terms of the spring mechanism it's really strong I'm not too sure how long it will last but because of its strength I'm presuming it will last a little while but you know ultimately I think I got this for 25 quid just under 25 pounds I'll put the uh, links in the description below for both the UK and the uh, US site uh, for Amazon. And I don't really think you can go wrong with this thing. I really like it, it's really well made. It's the typical Manfrotto stuff. Um, you can't really go wrong. And you can also get some great panning shots with it as well. You know, you're gonna get better panning shots, you know, with this than you would if you were trying to hold your phone. You can get some much better panning shots. Um, if that's the sort of thing you're into. So yeah, overall, I really like this thing. I would definitely recommend it as part of something you can put in your gear. Um, I would say that it's not gonna be strong enough. I tried it on my um, DSLR here and yeah, it was, oh shit, nearly dropped it. Um, and you can get it to work, but it's a bit dodgy. You wouldn't want to put your DSLR on this. In fact, I think Manfrotto do a similar one to this. It's small, slightly bigger, I think, not entirely sure, but it's made specifically for DSLR. So if you're looking, if you've got a mirrorless camera or something like that, then I suggest you get the DSLR version of this. Um, this is really the, the Pixie Smart, specifically made for, you know, smartphones. That's why it's called Smart. Yeah. They do a number of these, so it's worth checking out the Manfrotto site as well, looking at the Pixies and seeing which one would suit you best, depending on the type of device that you want to use it with. Also, I use the Osmo Pocket on the, you know, attached to my phone while attached to, attached to the uh, Manfrotto. It works really well. Again, great. Really liked it. And just something to end on, on a serious note, I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing to me and commenting. It really does keep me going. This is a brand new channel. 
And putting these videos together, you know, it's hard work. It takes a number of days and then you've got to do the editing. Not that you're interested in any of that, but it's your comments and people subscribing and just the nice stuff people have said that really keep me motivated to keep pushing out these videos. And I really hope that you find the content useful. I guess you do, you're subscribed and stuff. So yeah, thank you, I really do appreciate it. And for those that are watching and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you think the content is useful. If you don't, I don't expect you to subscribe um, and smash that like button um, if you do like what you see. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys.